This is Justin from HelpyWP. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a web page with beautiful accordions and FAQs with Elementor Page Builder. On the screen, you can see a beautiful product page showcasing the unique selling points of a product with its features. It also has a section with accordions with fonts and colors matching the theme of the site. You can click the accordion to open the specific information that you want to see. It also has toggle so that when you open one element, the other element closes. If we go further down this page, we can see that it also has a product FAQ section to answer the commonly asked questions about this product. This FAQ section is also created with accordions and they have a FAQ search bar to search for the answers. What's interesting is that this full page along with this elegant accordions and FAQ sections are created with Elementor Page Builder. So let's see how to create accordions and FAQs with Elementor Page Builder. To create accordions, we have used a plugin called Help FAQ Accordion Plugin. So you have to install the Help FAQ Accordion Plugin before you can move on to creating the page. Help FAQ Accordion Plugin is a popular free WordPress plugin for creating accordions and FAQs in WordPress. It gives you an Elementor Accordion widget that we are going to see in this tutorial. You can easily create and customize accordions with this widget. Help FAQ Accordion Plugin can be easily downloaded from the WordPress repository. Installing this plugin is just like how you install Elementor and other free plugins from the WordPress repository. To install Help FAQ plugin, go to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins and click add new. On this page, search for Help FAQ. And when you see Help FAQ plugin, click install button. After it is installed, click activate. Now you have successfully installed and activated Help FAQ plugin in your WordPress site. Now, let's go to the page where you want to add the accordions. If you have already created a page, you just need to go and click Edit with Elementor. Or, if you are creating a brand new page, probably an FAQ page, you just need to click Add New and create a new page. You have to give this page a title. and save to draft. After it is saved, you have to click edit with Elementor. Here I have already created a page, so I will just click edit with Elementor. Now, we are inside the Elementor editor. Here we can add accordions to any section or to any column. Now let's go to the Elementor toolbar. Here you will have all the Elementor widgets. Let's search for FAQ in the search bar. It shows two widgets. The LP FAQ widget is for FAQs that are already created. Now we are not going to use this. We are going to use the help FAQ dynamic widget. This widget lets you add accordions and edit the contents within the accordions just like with any other Elementor widget. You can also change the looks and style of the accordions with this widget. Let's create a new section and add two columns. Let's drag and drop this LP FAQ dynamic widget to our section. We have the accordions. Now let's fill the contents inside them. Then edit the fonts, colors and other aspects to match our page. Your accordion section can have a title or you can leave it empty. Then we have to fill the title and description for each accordion item. If you're using this accordions to create FAQs, then this will be your questions and answers. Now 
This description space is a media rich space that is you can add media such as images, gifs, videos in addition to the text content. Here you can also place WordPress shortcodes in case you want to add some other content such as tables, WooCommerce products etc. You can add these shortcodes and show the content inside the accordions. Now let's open the next FAQ item and fill the title and description. We have to repeat the same process for each accordion item. Now that we have added the content inside the accordions, let's see how to change the style, color and alignment of the accordions. To do this, go to the style tab of the accordion widget in the Elementor toolbar. Here you can change the looks of all the items such as title, header and body. Since we have not given this accordion section a title, we can directly move on to single item header. Here you can edit the looks of the accordion titles. Let's do the alignment first. Then we can change the font color. If you go to the typography options, you can change the font, font size, font style, spacing and height. I'll make some changes here. You can even change the background color of the accordion. Now that we are done, let's move on to editing the body of the accordion. You can see that it has the same options here. Let's edit the font color, size and text alignment. After we are done, let's move on to the advanced tab of this accordion widget. Here there are several options such as uh, motion effects, positioning and some more. You can play with them and see how everything works. For now I'll just adjust the margin and padding to get the looks I want. If you have experience with using Elementor Editor, you will notice that the styling and positioning options of this accordion widget is similar to other Elementor widgets. Now this accordion section is done. I want to retain the same accordion settings in the next column. So I'll just copy and paste this accordion in the next column. After it is copied, we can edit the content inside. Now this accordion section is fully done. Now that we have created the accordions, let's move to create the FAQ section below. To do this, we have to drag the Help FAQ dynamic widget to where we want to place it. Then we can copy and paste the nearby style to match the background. Since it is an FAQ section, we will give it an FAQ title. Let's add FAQ content inside the single FAQ items. We are done with the content. Then there are several options for FAQs in this widget. We can have a FAQ search bar. The search bar will have an inline search function which will search only within this FAQ section. We can keep the first FAQ accordion open or closed. And also we can enable or disable 
toggle for the FAQs. And now we can move on to the style tab. Here we can change the alignment, font, font size, color, etc. for this uh, FAQ title. Changing the style of header and body is the same as we saw earlier for the accordion section. After the style changes are done, let's move on to the advanced tab. Here also, I'm just changing the margin and padding to match my preference. Now we are done with the FAQ section. Let's save it to draft and see how our accordions and FAQ section look. Wow, we have created a beautiful accordion section that will catch the eyes of everyone who visit the page. And the accordions will give useful information to the visitors as well. This beautiful page with accordions and FAQs we have created with help FAQ accordion plugin and Elementor WordPress plugin. If everything looks fine, we'll go and publish this page and our page will be live. What I have just shown you is the capabilities of the basic version of the Help FAQ Dynamic widget. We are working on adding more options and features to this widget. We listen to our users and develop our plugins accordingly. If you have a new feature idea or a suggestion, you can inform us and we will gladly add it to our plugin. Sending the feature request is also very easy. To do this, go to your WordPress dashboard and then go to Help FAQ and Settings. Here you can find the roadmap tab which will show you the link to our plugins feature roadmap page. Go through the features on this roadmap page. If your feature is already he added here, you can upvote it. If the feature idea is not here, you can add it to the inbox tab but remember you have to explain this feature in detail so that we can easily understand. Hope this video tutorial has helped you. Post your questions in the comments section and don't forget to like this video and do subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this. Thank you.